Don. Uh, welcome to Between Two Wheels, where we talk about motorcycles and filmmaking. And um, you have a production company that calls Epic Minutes Production. And you all, all already have like different locations. You have actually teams like editor, camera people, and so on. Can you give us a little bit of background what Epic uh, Minutes Production is? Yeah, of course. Epic Minutes Production we founded, I think, four years ago. The target was in the beginning on to make uh, only YouTube and social media clips. I tried documentaries, but I realized really fast that you cannot so much money with it. Then I go to the internet. I was an internet guy before, and now I try to combine, you know, my internet know-how, social media know-how with movie making mm -hmm. and beautiful pictures that we try. And yeah, we have three studios right now. One in Tirol, where right now that's where everything started. Uh, then two years ago, we started in Salzburg because to the close to KDM and Red Bull. Yeah. And last year, we do another studio in Hamburg, in north of Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. exactly. You already mentioned uh, KTM and Red Bull. That are just a few huge references with, um, with companies you work. You work with BMW, Audi, like you said, Red Bull, KTM. So how is it to work with uh, such a big brands together? Oh, you know, in Austria, it's a, bit, a little bit different because Austria is smaller. Yeah. You know, I just coming from Germany and yeah, how it starts, everything. It was with, with KDM. I started a mountain bike online magazine, mm -hmm. which is what I think we see it before. And I come from mountain bike downhilling to the motorsports. Um, yeah, and had a project with a, with a good friend, a 15-time national champ. And we asked KDM for a for bike that we can produce and the idea was to go to the Erzberg Rodeo to mm -hmm. the famous one and try that you get at the downhill pro or we can make it and so everything started and you know Austria Red Bull and KTM it's really close uh, and you know I live also in the valley where the famous hero Heinz Kienigardner lives on you know the rally camp uh, and so on and it's it's a little family at the end you know it sounds bigger at the most time like it is <laughs> okay so a lot of uh... Uh, filmmaker watching the series and um, a lot of questions that I ever get is like how do people get clients you know like a lot of people go out there and I want to do stuff and you're pretty well at that um, it's how long is Epic uh, Minutes production how long does the company exist? Uh, Epic Minutes we founded four years ago four years so can you give a yeah. little bit of insight and tips share some tips how you get these clients uh, the most clients I had before I founded Epic Minutes, like KDM, because a lot of stuff comes from my online magazine where I produce content every week. You know, we tried iTunes and YouTube channel, and we need something to test it out before I had a multimedia agency, mm -hmm. and we just producing websites. And I realized really, really soon that uh, websites will be replaced with templates and everything, and WordPress and everything, and I... I I think for me, it's, you have to produce content, you know, and uh, that's what we tried with the online magazine for mountain bikes. And then we get the experience at the end, experience is everything, you know, you need experience. And for us, Epic Minutes is an outdoor producing company. Mm -hmm. And I, in my mind is when you're learning filming outdoor in bad conditions, bad light forest and hard light and everything. It's a good training uh, to do everything. I think then you can, film in a studio or in a normal environment everything and at the end i like motorsports and two wheels <laughs> that's how it comes all together we see here a clip already where you're filming something outside so if you're going through the events how do you film these kind of scenes what equipment do you have and how you arrange that oh it depends on the event you know mm -hmm. it's it, it's really uh, like what we see in the background it's the hellas rally mm -hmm. hellas rally it's a really nice rally for beginners they can learn how you use a rope book they can decide if they use gps or rope book um, we do it as everything with the keening gardeners together and for me it's like every day you write your own rally but not for timing, for the nice pictures. And you have to working with the organizer. Uh, Melitis is a nice guy, by the way. He gives you the right GPS points. 
because he knows where the nice points on the tracks. And then you ride with your bike or with a buggy or with a car. It depends on the stages uh, to the nice stuff. And then you have most of the time two teams, one team get all the interview stuff done uh, because they're starting in the morning in the bivouac and they also when they come back. And the other two filming guys are riding the same tracks like the rally guys but they only have to be careful that nobody kills them <laughs> that's the only difference <laughs> well, yeah Tom what was your most memorable experience of epic mass production you mean filming wise mm -hmm. you know it's so much different stuff um, we travel a lot uh, and last year we had over 200 days on the road for different kind of productions like uh, two rallies uh, every year we do the beginning like we did it before the shutdown uh, the oasis rally that's a beginner rally in tunisia that was really nice because i came to go with my hero and skinny gardener you know and he showed me that stuff really nice experience was the red bull hair, spray, hair, uh, hair scramble rodeo it was really crazy to film that uh, because you know as camera guy in the middle of flying stones from every everywhere and after the event we asked him why we don't use helmets because it was so crazy dangerous. But this was definitely one of the nicest experiences, I think, they had, uh, they had spread for the year. Because right. it was a crazy situation. But every rally is different, and, but the nice thing is a little family, and you see every year the same people most of the time. And it's a big family at the end. A big family at the end. So you already mentioned that you not only do like outside stuff, and you have currently, currently, um, um, something released re uh, regarding yeah. the ice hockey. Can you give us there a little bit of background? Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites project the last three years. Um, we had a good connection since three years uh, with the Easy Red Bull Salzburg. Close, we opened the office in in Salzburg. Uh, the marketing guy calls me and say, "Hey, now you were in Salzburg, you can film tomorrow." We say for sure, and then we start filming. The first project what we did, it was called Player Perspective. That's we put with a a camera company, uh, you know, a typical startup from Barcelona. They produce the camera that you can put in, in the armor from the ice hockey player. And we put uh, the season player's perspective. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. You know, we follow one player with three cameras over the ice. And also he has a POV inside in the middle of the game. And from there we go uh, forward. And then we're working three years with them together. And then was the idea to make a documentary about the whole season. And that's what you're seeing on there right now. Uh, when we started, I think we started in September, filming every interesting game, try to get the contact to the coaches, all the, you know, all the access, what you need to going in the cabin. At the end, it's a lot of trust from the club. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried uh, to, to produce a nice documentary. And you see Curtis and Julio, my main employees in, in Salzburg, and Curtis uh, had it from the beginning on. He made the off-speaking stuff. You see him here right now. Uh, you know, it, it's also family at the end because it's everything is experience and trust at the end when you want to get these kind of pictures. Yeah. So where is it released already? Can the people see it somewhere? You can see it on the club's Red Bull, easyredbulls.com website. It's a four, um, four episode series because we have to do something after the shutdown. They killed the season in the middle of the playoffs. Mm. Uh, you know, and then we just normally we want to sell it to Amazon, uh, but they have no interest in it anymore. And then, um, yeah, we, we try to get anything out that we can show what we, what we had produced and as well for the fans. It was a good, you know, what do you want to say? It was it good stuff that they have something, you know, because they don't see anything. They have season tickets and nobody can go more to the games. And then we decided and the last 10 weeks, Curtis edited every day, 10 hours to make this documentary. Um, 15 minutes uh, for episode. It's close to 65 minutes. It's really nice, really internal stuff. Uh, and I think the club loves it. The coaches loves it. And we, we as well. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Nice. But um, you like to be on your bike as well, right? You have, uh, I think, an, what is it, a 1090 or 1190? And I had a 1090, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you recently you see me there riding the right trip? now. <laughs> yeah, you, you put me right there when I stuck in the mud uh, last year. You know, I just had a break from motorbiking six years because I had a hard knee injury with a motorbike, but I was swimming for KDM. And the Kini gotta give me the chance to get back on the bike. And with a with a motorbike you can go, you know, 
really easy with the camera on the back or you know in the panniers to to get the stuff and i ride a 1090 uh, since last year i love it you know yeah it's a pretty yeah. big bike taking that with what we see here like in deep sand and you can't yeah, in the deep sand it's not so funny <laughs> in the deep sand it's not also funny you need what do you say a lot of balls um <laughs> to get a struggle on but uh you know you have to learn and try yeah. no so but after yeah. the after the shutdown uh you guys have already some projects lined up where are we gonna work on next well that's we figure out figure out right now we, we, we take a little bit amateur emergency help to uh some little companies you to help them out produce some stuff because they have to show something as example restaurants they uh, have nothing to do anymore because they have no clients and then we have our make some delivering videos and service videos everything for facebook and social media mm. but we have three or four four rally projects out there you know the hellas rally it's now moved to october mm. and this kind of stuff uh what, what we do and then we see what will come up for sure we had a lot a lot in the editing uh, uh stations where we can put like the easy red bull stuff uh, right now I, i'm working on the ktm stuff for the kini they had a new uh, shop mm. a big um, uh, flagship store and you know they have the same problem right now cannot publish anything or you know you have only chances to online yeah and soon the border opens again you may see me on the bike again close to portugal and spain to produce there some stuff yeah crossing fingers sooner sooner than later yeah. um yeah. Dom, i have prepared some pictures that i pulled from your instagram uh do you mind to give some feedback comment them where that is what the people do there yeah that's what you see this must be the edit station in salzburg it's julio and elena one of our trainees you know I think it was pictures because we search people to work for us and I think it was the campaign mm -hmm. we are for epic minutes and do epic yeah. things how we call it yeah everybody yeah. is smiling while editing <laughs> they try that's, that's not true. you know <laughs> no it's definitely not true sometimes sometimes I know exactly Curtis what you see in the behind he was really stoked to work for Red Bull mm -hmm. and Red Bull is a cool, cool client by the way but also it's really sometimes annoying because the process is <laughs> crazy and it's kind of that but this picture i have no idea it must be here uh, in tirol and the gallows we shoot also for a lot of tourism stuff mm -hmm. hotels and, and and so stuff and this must be there okay. i'm not sure must be. yeah and sometimes you're in the desert as well <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the shots when I was, you know, uh, the Kini guys, they have an adventure company as well. They make adventure tours. Mm -hmm. And there I got with them on the bike to film that stuff. And this was in Morocco or in Mazura. It's yeah. 10 minutes from the hotel away. You oh, know, the minutes. dunes start looks after like the hotel. Somewhere, like, yeah, yeah, it's, away. It's, the, it's the beginning of the Sahara. It's, you know, Mazuga. It's really close uh, to the first big dunes. And you go 10 minutes and then you have pictures like that. All right. What was yeah. is it the same uh, what we're seeing here? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my uh, behind behind the lens. My stuff is that's the whole Morocco. It was in November last year, mm -hmm. you know. And I try to document that everything with the GoPro. Then I stop, make normal uh, camera stuff, and I jump on the bike again. Sometimes I put the drone out, but in Morocco and Tunisia, it's something crazy with the with the drone because it's not allowed. By the way. Uh, but we try to smuggle it in the whole time it works. This is the film set from Ben Hur, by the way, what you see in the behind. This is uh, really nice um, stuff. You know, and every day you, you ride 300 kilometers on the bike. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's the whole week, it's 1800 kilometers. Yeah. Started from Marrakesh over the Atlas Mountain uh, to Metsuga. Then you have two days in the desert and then you go the way back. It's really nice. Morocco is one of the nicest places to ride, I have to say. I like Tunisia is also nice, but Morocco is definitely my favorite. You already mentioned that you you're taking a GoPro for the riding footage and you have a uh, you have a drone with you, but you said you have a regular camera with you as well. What what yeah, camera yeah. do you take with you? Um on the trip and I you know all this rally stuff I the most of the time I do by myself because my employees have no driving license. Mm -hmm. That's a problem in this generation nobody has a motorbike driving license mm -hmm. that i have to do it by myself and at this kind of rallies i have a, a two camera setup a73 uh, with a 16 to 105 uh, lens g master and then i have a alpha 6500 as a crop factor with a zoom lens mm -hmm. 
you know, that I can the, the, the crop shots and the zoom shots, uh, and it works really nice. Yeah, and then I have, for sure, I have a GoPro on the helmet. Mm -hmm. That's my edit bay where I'm sitting right now. Um, oh, that's, yeah, and the yeah, GoPro. That's the edit. That's yeah, that's edit the edit. Let's go through that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that has a live, live view. So I guess uh, on the top, that is your live preview of the footage. Then you have your editing on the right, and the left is the timeline. With uh, yeah. what software are you editing and why? We just editing on Premiere since years. I started with the typical Final Cut Studio stuff, but at the end, I don't like Apple anymore because they're too expensive <laughs> and okay. it doesn't work. And when we opened the office in Salzburg, we switched completely from Apple to PCs. Yeah, and we're just working on Premiere all the time. It's really nice in team projects, uh, yeah. by the way. Yeah, and the setup here is the most of the time is a five to five inch or sixty five inch. Uh, screen mm -hmm. uh, we sponsored we sponsored by lg and they it's a good it's a good, uh, good setup to work on it you know you have uh, enough space on the left enough space for your timeline on the right you have the preview and all that stuff and the bigger monitor is the most of the time when the client sits behind you and just sitting on the sofa behind you that you can see over the editor yeah. when i'm normally editing i, I didn't watch on the big screen right. only when i do call, yeah. only when i do the call and stuff mm -hmm. So you're traveling a lot, and this is uh, oh. your base. Can you explain the audience? Yeah, that's where we meet us. Yeah, that's where we meet us. Shmuley. Yeah. So on the, on the left, there's Shmuley. He owns a restaurant here in uh, New York City, and there's a weekly meetup where all the motorcycle people come together, and this is somehow we, how we met. So Exactly. Now, let me pick one more video. Let me see what that is. Is it the real, maybe? No, that's another rally, isn't it? That's that's definitely heli relas content in Greece. Mm -hmm. um, that's a Heinz Kini Gardner. This is son Hannes. Um, he is paralyzed since twelve years, okay. and he rides in a modified uh, cannon buggy. Um, wow. Yeah, you see, has, the left hand is on the steering wheel, the right is on the gas control and brake control. Yeah, and it's really nice to be with them together. It's big friends since years. I just we, I think we do the relas rally since six years now. Mm -hmm. Every year. This is the first year they changed it because the riots and uh, they moved it to October. Yes. Maybe you have, have a chance to get with me there, you know, one <laughs> yeah. time. Let's see. When hopefully you're crossing fingers, everything goes back to normal and we can continue. Great content. Yeah. By the way, content. Yeah. Where can people? I would like to wrap up the interview, Dom. Where can the people uh, find more about Epic Minutes, and where can they see the videos? Can you repeat where where they can watch uh, the uh, the series, the ice hockey series? I think the best entry point must be Instagram and Facebook at the time because we are a social media production company, or you find the stuff on the website. But the website is at the moment more German like English. Uh, I think the best way it's Instagram. We had also a little, a little stuff, funny stories on Instagram. We call it Happy Friday. Uh, it's really funny stuff. I think you see some uh, some of this funny stuff. Um, but we do that only that the people that we film that you know a lot of people they are shy in front of the camera, and we try to make fun of it uh, that they have more more fun and they see it's not so so hard. You know? Yeah. 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 All right. No, I think the most, the most, the most side is Instagram. It's the best. Instagram is the best. best. Go to find. Awesome. Okay, Dom. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I wish you all the What's best. Was it clever, man? Stay uh, safe and help, and I wish you all the yeah. best with uh, your production company. Thanks, man, and I hope we see you soon. See you soon, man. Bye. Bye, bye.